it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you are running a production application on Compute Engine. You want to monitor the key metrics of CPU, memory and disk I.O. time. You want to ensure that the metrics are visible by the team and will be explorable if an issue occurs. What should you do? And we have to choose two options. So fairly straightforward scenario. We want to collect certain metrics about the VM and we need to make it available to the ops team. And if there is an issue of any sort, we should be able to explore the data that is collected. The requirement analysis again straightforward. This is information that we can collect using a monitoring agent or the default monitoring. We want to make these metrics available to the team on a regular basis and preferably in easy to use ways that is ideally a part of Google Cloud itself. Since you're anyway using it, they should have a solution that is bolted on there. We also want to explore the data if an issue occurs. As it is worded, it looked a little confusing for me because it is not clear whether they want immediate knowledge of an issue or if they want to be able to look at the data later in some sort of historical analysis. So we leave that open and maybe the options will give us some direction. With this understanding of the requirements, let's look at option A now. Option A suggests set up logs based metrics based on your application logs to identify errors. One, we don't need to have additional logs based metrics when there is a straightforward approach, which is to either use the default metrics or to install the monitoring agent, which gives you additional metrics. Especially for things like CPU, memory, disk IO, it is straightforward to just use the agent. The application logs are going to give you application related logs, right? And that's not what you want. We want VM related logs. So this is just not suitable for us and therefore we will eliminate option A. Option B suggests that you export key metrics to a Google Cloud function and then analyze them for outliers. This just seems roundabout and extra code also. We will need to have the metrics come in to Stack Driver Monitor and then export it to say Cloud Storage or to PubSub or somewhere and then route it through Cloud Function to then analyze in some way with custom code. It just seems too much effort. If there was a better option, that's what I would choose. Moreover, the visualization or the analysis of these uh, metrics seems to be happening outside of the default system. If we could use Stack Driver for it, that would be my first preference. We don't want to create a custom application and also have the user or the operations people move out to a different one. So, Considering all of that, we will eliminate option B. Option C suggests set up alerts in Stack Driver monitoring for key metrics breaching defined thresholds. So this is saying collect all these metrics as they're coming in and then also have certain alerts set when that value in the uh, metric is going to go beyond or could be below also a certain threshold. In the question itself, it says that we should be able to uh, explore the system or the explore the metrics when there's an issue. This seems very much appropriate for that. So when an issue occurs, the alert is then going to indicate and inform us that there is a problem. So this seems very good for us for meeting the requirement of this if and when an issue occurs. Now, there is no particular indication in the question itself that there has to be alerts. It just says that it has to be explorable, right? So like I said in the beginning, what does it mean by explorable? Does it have to be immediate or just something after the fact? If we consider it as an immediate thing, 
or an immediate requirement for the notification to come in, then C is a very good option for us. So I'm going to check this as positive and useful for us, but we are going to still look at the other options. So C is good, but we'll just retain it for a moment. Option B suggests create a dashboard with key metrics and indicators that can be viewed by the team. Now this is definitely something we need, right? The requirement uh, says that we should have these metrics visible to the team, right? They should be available to the team. So to have a dashboard for all of these key metrics and indicators is exactly what we want. And the operations dashboard is built in into Google Cloud. It is convenient and it is configurable. Right? We don't have to write any extra code. We just choose a few parameters and the kind of graphs that we want. So this is a definite yes, a much stronger yes than even the previous option C. So we are going to definitely choose D and now let's look at the last option. Option E suggests export key metrics to BigQuery and then run hourly queries on the metrics to identify outliers. This has a similar problem with one of the earlier options where it's just too roundabout an extra code. Moreover, this one suggests that we run these queries every hour, which means that we are going to, even if this worked and we got the notifications, we're going to be well after the fact of some issue occurring. Therefore, for all those reasons, we are going to eliminate option E. This leaves us with only two good options, C and D, and those are the ones that we're going to choose as a right answer for this requirement. If you thought that content was great, you absolutely must check out all our new upcoming content. So subscribe right away. Mm -hmm.